We talked last week about folks that have heard the big bad news. You got cancer, you've had a stroke, you've had an accident, you're disabled, you're going blind, whatever. Okay, my mom heard the news, she had Lou Gehrig's disease. And I remember that time where you hit the shock, okay? And then after the shock, you start doing the treatments, you go in for the surgery or rehabilitation or whatever, and then you come home. And I call this program today the duration. It's the life after the big event. It may be a short one. For my mom, it was 24 months. For Johnny, after her big event, it's been 46 years in the wheelchair. And during that time, it's suffering. And it doesn't get better, it's getting worse and worse. What I want to know, how can we say God is loving when we're in this condition? Where is God? What help can we get from Him? And these folks are experts in pain, and they also know the Lord, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Michael, take us back to the fact of 2008 and uh, well before that after you came out of the surgery okay for your neck and talk a little bit about that the daily routines compare what you used to do and then what you're facing now yeah you know, you know it, 1999 2000-ish was uh, the precursor of all these surgeries john and at the worst time was actually before the 2008 surgery, but um, we were in Virginia, Cindy and I sitting on the sofa in our house there in, uh, outside of Washington, D.C., and I had never been in so much pain in my life. I was taking the Oxycontin, the Hydrocodone, the Lyrica, the Gabapentin, Neurontin, all these medications they were just throwing at me to try and turn the noise down, as I say, and nothing was helping. And I got to a point where, as a racquetball player, a guy that kept the yard perfectly, could fix any appliance in the home, worked on all the cars, could do everything myself, uh, and it was taken away. And I sat on this couch with Cindy, with tears running down my chin, going, I don't think I can do this. And I told her, uh, not literally, but I said the words, I think I'm going to jump off the highway. I didn't mean I was going to go kill myself, but that's given the future of if I have to live like this, I don't know how I'm going to do it. After I said that to her, I remember looking at her and she looked at me and I asked, how do we go on? And without maybe 10 seconds pause, she said, I look back on our lives and God has been faithful to this very day. Why would he not be faithful tomorrow? And that was God throwing me a lifeline that, okay, I know that up here intellectually. I know it in my brain. My wife believes it. I'm going to hang on to it. And in a way, her faith was kind of carrying me at that point. Maybe there will be some relief in the future. 